Ciao Roma! Just settled in, boys and girls. Hotel is in right in the middle of downtown Rome. You can see all the cafes opened and lined up over there. I mean, this whole place just looks like one entire museum. I'm gonna go find a little food tonight, shut it in early morning tomorrow at one of the most historic tennis clubs in all the world. But for now, just take in a little bit more of this uh, magnificent architecture and uh, just get all in these deals to start the week. Poro Italico, work, wa work wife with me. Uh, the only thing we're hoping for is brilliant weather. Arguably the most beautiful club in the world. So right next to the main stadium court, is maybe the most beautiful tennis court in the world. Surrounded by these magnificent, gorgeous detailed statues. The sunken court. Look at this dude right here. Hey, he's looking pretty jacked. I might need to step my game up. right over the shoulder on this court right here. Novak and Andy Murray. Got a little break here from shooting. Me and my work wife decided. Yeah, got a little pink on both sides. I like it, vibing with each other. And we're just looking for a uh, 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 picturesque opportunities. Danny's first suggestion was uh, taking uh, one of these giant butt cheeks and putting it right around my face. <laughs> I think Danny is so much built up professionalism on camera. She's just got to, it, it, it's all butt cheeks and this and that as soon as you get off camera. <laughs> is that a kettlebell in his hand? They had kettlebells back in ancient gladiator times? All right, boys and girls, that's a wrap. Day two here in Rome, rained out. And uh, all the gyms are closed, so guess what we're doing? We at the players' gym right now. About to warm up a little bit, see if we can't find a little lift. Of course, when I get in here, finally getting in a little work, who do I see? There's a reason they call him Killer. How was the workout, Killer? Um, not good next to you, I know that. Because <laughs> you put everybody to shame, but it's going well. Uh, trying. We've got a little rain out here in Rome at the moment, so a good chance to jump into the gym, do a little bit of a workout. But can you get your ass out of here? Because <laughs> this is embarrassing for all of us. From one end of the facility, where the practice courts are, there is a underground tunnel that goes all the way to the center court. And you see all the champions, men and women, Billie Jean, Virginia Wade, oh man, Swaggy Swag, Mr. Nastasi, Manuel Orantes. Oh, this was a classic final right here, 74, Borg and Nasty. Man, you see everyone down in these halls. Oh, of course, can't miss all their own. Tracy Austin, man, oh, look at our man right there, Mr. Jimmy Arias. I haven't given you guys a good look at the bird's eye view that we got from our booth. So that's our booth right there where you've seen us do all the action. Right here, a couple of the main practice courts, Court Kids Vangeli right over there, and of course the stadium in the back. Now they have a different setup this year. Normally the players restaurant and so forth is all the way on the other side of the main stadium. But here, you walk across this rooftop, you got a couple more practice courts here, and of course a giant soccer thing in the back. But the players restaurant is just second floor right underneath us. So even there you can see a little cafe sitting area over there and over there where all the players are able to have a little coffee, kind of look over the practice. Everyone always gathers in the Watson and Roth over here. So much more little intimate setup over here. A lot of the players are saying they like it a little bit more in the last couple of years. Yeah, about as well as you wanted to execute. 
Yeah, nice and early and nice and swirly as well. <laughs> what a nice set you guys have here. Always have been saying the tennis channel somehow picks, you guys pick your spot the best. Always every every club, thank you, every thank tournament. You. But this is where I've been doing most of my hanging out. Right underneath our setup, there's the players' restaurant. See this? Yeah. Overlooking the courts on one side, overlooking the other courts in the back. Nice and quiet, good food, hang out with some of the boys and girls, and uh, you know, get the mind right between matches. Of course, at this hour in the evening, if you come into the gym, you only see animals. I'm talking about lions, beasts. So of course, I'm gonna see this animal here. Andre, you, 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 your biceps are looking big, bro, right now? No, they're, they're looking. Some of us are working hard over here. This man's making history over here. This man's getting ready. And uh, our man is on ice cream number four for the day. I mean, you're in Europe. Shouldn't you be taking in all the all the Italianness when we got drumstick ice cream it's over It's not there? gelato. It's not even gelato. It's drumstick ice cream. All right, that's Friday night in the books. Not a soul in here. You know what? That's how we like it. Those late nights, early mornings. That's what adds up in the end. Saturday night here at the Foro Italico. Rafa about to come to the desk. Let's see what the nighttime champ has to say. Rafa, lovely to have you here. The sun is still out. Got my co-host with me. She knows where we're going. Spanish steps right here. It's about as magnificent as it gets. Spanish steps leading up to that gorgeous church. Next, headed to the Trevi Fountain. I'm not even sure what building this is, but Look at the size of that damn door. No, ladies and gentlemen, we are not at the Venetian in Las Vegas. Found a nice restaurant called Dar Poeta in Traves today. Teddy? I'm not even going to attempt it. We're going we're to work on that here. <laughs> but uh, just, I mean, look how beautiful this is. All right, I got a pizza, a bunch of meats, mozzarella. Danny, what are we ordering? Vino, pizza, bruschetta. You know, if it's cheap meal, it's going to happen. We got to make it work. We got a little sausage on there, some spicy ham. We got some buffalo mozzarella. I had to finish up with some gelato. Supposedly the best place in Rome. Finals day over here. Every day when we come in, they got the best espresso over here. And my man Graziano is the one cooking it up. Iga, I, I have no words for that performance today. You were just spectacular. My focus was really on point today. Right. And uh, I, I had the proper mindset. So I'm really proud of myself that I could keep that for the whole match. Last day here, gotta go take a look at the Coliseum. We gotta take a look at, of course, the Vatican. Go we'll say some prayers. And um, I have the crustiest tour guide in Rome with me. You get goosebumps looking at it each and every time. Wow. This is it. Maybe the most special place in Rome. And look what we got. Well, D, that was about as special as it got. How about that timing? As soon as you walk into St. Peter's Square, the Pope comes out and addresses everyone. I'm getting my face off. I have chills. Like, I could cry. I just feel like, did that just happen? Just to be able to be here and 
give thanks for it all, the, the great help, staying safe, all the opportunities to be able to do it here. It's really special thing. I hate to say it, but I think that is a wrap on Italian, on Rome. Uh, maybe the best week of the year so far. The tournament was amazing. Rafa, Novak, I mean, what else can I say? And Spiante, I think, I think she's still smoking from that fire performance in the final, but you know, got to enjoy the city, take in some food, and uh, felt like a normal week, dare I say. So uh, I really hope that the sign of things to come and we're moving to that direction. But, um, you know, thought for a while, we're keeping the season two now, and each episode's 